guys, I'm John P. I'm Callie Lewis. Thank you so much for joining us for Talk Mobile 2013. It's been a good week so far, and we've got more to come talking about mobile you, all about you and how you take advantage of mobile devices and uh, ideas. So today, we want to talk a little bit about managing a mobile family. How do you keep the family in touch, communicating? Kevin's mom uses BBM, <laughs> which is both awesome and really, really bad. Uh, no, BBM actually has really worked well for our family where uh, she has it, my you know brothers have it, and uh, it keeps everybody connected. And if we ever, you know, she can send a message, and because you have those little delivered and red stamps, she knows when I got it. So if it's oh, delivered, that's, uh, is that a feature? Oh, no, <laughs> that's a feature because she knows I'm always busy, right? Yeah. So it might take hours before I read it, but then once I read it, I always make sure I reply right away. Well, mm -hmm. what are some other ways to be able to keep the family communicating? At least with, I mean, all of these systems basically, they presume source, some sort of a proprietary system seems to work well. Uh, Microsoft has on Windows Phone Rooms, which is the idea of creating a private room for your family. You can post photos there, it's a chat room, you can share a calendar, and you can do all of this. And it actually works on other platforms too. My, my two-year-old knows how to unlock an iPad or an Android tablet, you know, the mechanisms mm -hmm. are that simple. Two years old, couldn't walk, could barely walk. Yeah. Can use a tablet and, you know, and knows icons. How about a cross platform mm -hmm. apps that are third party that people can right. use essentially for group messaging, group texting, sharing of photos, etc. Or other web services, any of those that you know? Even you know? Facebook. I mean, it's a lot of Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Facebook, yeah, Facebook is the web for a lot of families. Path tried to do that with smaller groups. I mean, there's a lot of people trying to get you to carve out your little family niche. I think families becoming, as these devices become more online and they become more ubiquitous and the price comes down, they become more affordable. You're seeing this new focus now on family, keeping people in contact. Uh, and so it's going to be really interesting to see how that kind of continues. With Facebook, I mean, kids don't necessarily want their families paying attention to their Facebook account. Phil, how do you protect them in terms of what they're sharing it and what is, they're not? It is the single most frightening thing to me as a parent, I think, because it's something I can't control. Mm -hmm. uh, the best thing we can do is try to educate them as best we can and say, here are some things you can take pictures of. And my six-year-old has an old iPhone. She uses like an iPod, and it's got a camera on it. She runs around the house taking pictures. She says, oh, here's a picture I took of my sister while she was asleep. Here's one of you, Daddy, while you were <laughs> <laughs> and And we have to tell her that's kind of not OK. Let's move on to uh, family plans, data and voice. What's the best solution for families? I, I have a question. Like, I don't know. Is it better to have everyone on the same phone, or is it better to have different? Like, can, can I have an Android and an iPhone and a BlackBerry? I, I use Android. Family? My wife, my wife uses an iPhone, so we have Does two carrier on care? one plan. Carrier doesn't care at all. Um, we don't have a shared data plan yet, just because we haven't gotten around to doing it, and that's fine. Actually, she's still on an unlimited plan, and I'm not. Mm. We've seen a huge push from carriers in the last one or two years. I mean, Verizon did family plans, AT&T did, they have shared data buckets now. The only thing that really bothers me is that, uh, for example, if you have multiple devices, you have to pay for $30 extra, for example, to add your tablet to your existing data plan right. with no extra money. That's sort of like, you know, if we order a pizza, John and I order the pizza, and he takes a bite, I have to pay for two pizzas all of a sudden. Well, and it's not it's $360 a year in that case, if, yeah. it's, if it's 30 and they're not all $30 Although, yeah, an extra device. Although, yeah, some really changed quite dramatically. Yeah. For example, Verizon, they're yep. 10 bucks to add on an iPad, uh, or 5 bucks to add on a Galaxy camera. So that's not Getting so better. bad, not too bad. Well, there are other places we could go, but uh, I'm going to leave that up to you guys in the comments below. What did so we chime miss? chime in. What did we miss? What do you think about, uh, you know, you guys all, a lot of you have families, so what are your solutions? Chime in. Let us know. We will all see right. you guys tomorrow, so come on back for even more Talk Mobile 2013. Bye.